it's Rome and welcome to Rome in Carnival. Now today we're going to learn all about the steel pan. What better place to learn about the steel pan than right here in Trinidad and Tobago, the place where it originated. We are here overlooking the city. But I don't know my elbow from my ankle when it comes to the steel pan. So we're going to talk to somebody, a couple of people who are going to show us how to make the pan, how to beat the pan, how to play the pan, and the history of the steel pan. All you ready? Well, I ready. Let me go! Room or go by? I'm Joshua. I cool. Alright, so today we come to learn. I want to learn the history of the pan. I mm. want to learn how to make a pan. And I want to learn how to play a pan. But we have a nice pan. We're in the right place. Let's all right. go now. Let me do this Alright, alright. Oh, come on. Come on, but I'm going to make it walk, 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 walk. Is you ready, Gary B boy? Right now we have a nice fan yard by the boss himself. Uh, <laughs> Rome is in him, yeah, nice yeah, to meet you. Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. Curtis, 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 yeah, nice yeah. Curtis. So Curtis, yeah. I am a blank canvas. When it comes to pan, yeah. all I know is Winston's pre Simon <laughs> and this man here who can beat a little thing <laughs> and somebody at a pan. Boss pan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but in terms of the origination of pan, mm -hmm. I, I really don't know much about it. So that's why right. I came to you because yeah. it's a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. A couple of people are saying it comes from Venezuela. Somebody mm -hmm. said it comes from Grenada. Mm -hmm. I hear it comes from Africa. Yeah. Where pan really originated? Well, pan created in Trinidad in the 1930s, right? Okay. But it came, if you trace back, you can see where the African Indian slave time where, that were brought to the country, mm. they brought their hand drums to them and they were using it to, in the festival with Trinidad Carnival to, to read through the rhythms right. that they were using to, to enhance the rhythms. Right? So when they keep beating on the drums, they will get nice rhythms and all of that. Okay. So in, in sense of that now, we came with the tambu bamboo because the government had banned the drums. They banned it? Because the they, drums? The drums, the drums, the, drum, the hand drums, the African hand drums. Because they thought they, thought they were being threatened by one another sending messages to each other. Mm -hmm. So they banned the drums and then they came with the tambu bamboo. You know the tambo bamboo, bamboo cut in different yeah, lengths yeah, 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 and yeah, the beetles yeah. on the ground to get it to. I used to do that in, in weeks. I went a couple of yeah, yeah. yeah. weeks and they yeah. 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 Right, so in that now, they used to take drums like um, we call dustbin, dustbin, dustbin drums, biscuit mm. drums and all these things and started beating it. And by beating on it, the indentation created different tones. Mm. So they started to realize something happening here, right? And from that now, they went into the origin of the doo which is called the two note bass. Doo doo tip doo 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 tip. In the gully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and from that now, they realized that we have something to work on. Mm. And everybody in their own village went and do something concerning the pan. Ah. So, we arrive at a place where we can make a steel pan now. So, so Trinidad and Tobago mm. is the place that really invented the steel yeah. pan itself. Yeah, the home, home of the steel pan. Home of the steel pan. If you yeah. didn't know, mm. now you know. It yeah. came right, it came from right here, right yeah, here, this yeah, yeah. And um, in terms of now, the, the, the steel pan, I heard that some people saying you can make it an industrial way and some people saying it came from yeah. the oil drums itself. Yeah, so exactly. do you know the traditional way of how to make the steel pan itself? Yeah, yeah. Right, so it, we come is, to the right place. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, we here to learn it. Well, we I, here I learn. To teach, so yeah. we here to learn how to make it the traditional way, yeah. how to tune it yeah. and then how to play it. You're right. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> So good, this we here. Yeah. This is the original oil drum, right. as you would say. Yeah. And how you get this 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 concave shape? Right. This was a flat surface, eh, like any ordinary drum, mm. right? And by using this hammer, which is a six pound hammer, mm. right? You, you draw um, they call spiral lines right around until you get to the center of it, and then you use the hammer now to pong on these spiral lines. Around, around for two and a half hours. I've been two pong. and a half hours. Yeah, ponging, 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 ponging with bricks. Eh? So you need to bring the gym there. Bring the gym. See the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. This is the smooth guy here. Mm. You use this now after the smooth now. Yeah. The smooth it out. No, All right. Because yeah. that red clean. Yeah. Yeah, I thought. I thought. <laughs> yeah. He buy this up. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we 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 get a concave shape. Right. 
So this is the original shape of the pan. Right. Now what's the next step we do? All right, the next step is this. We put on what you call the template. No, there's a there's a ten I'm making here. Hmm. So it's the deepest pan out of all the pan family. Right. Okay, so I put in on the different sizes of the notes. Right? I have to go wrong. Mm -hmm. After that, we take the hammer mm -hmm. and we bam, 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 bam. What do you mean? You're, you're pounding it? What? Pounding it hard. Into the shape? Into because, the because shape. Pong one, have, show me how to do one and then let me do the next one. Say <laughs> <laughs> pounding along the line. Yeah. Okay. On the line coming down, right? To get the to get the fullness. Alright. All right. You're no. going deeper here, yeah. and then you're coming back again and shape. So this is what we are trying to achieve, achieve right around the pan. Alright, you think you're going to run? You're not going to run. From here. Right. From here? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Not going in the room, yeah? <laughs> 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 oh, you're not here, isn't it? Yeah, right, it's hard, and I do it. Well, I want to mash up the thing. You're carrying down the, 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 the um, fat, you're carrying it down. Right. Yeah, no, no, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. So we're doing this thing step by step. First we put this in terms of how we made the pan. Now what's the next step? Burning burn, burn the pan. Burning the pan, Andy. We're going to burn yeah, the pan. We're going to burn this pan. Throw gasoline and then light them up. Nah, we have a ring stove there. All right, a ring stove. Ring, ring stove, stove yeah. But, but them, them guys just go by the river and make their cook and tell uh, uh. you. We just cook the pan. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to cook a pan. We're going to cook a pan. Yeah. What's, the, what's the purpose of cooking the pan? Well, burning the pan. All right, when, when the pan is made, right? The maker take that pan from a natural state. Mm. The drum is flat like that. And when, the, when you sink it and you do all that grooving and stuff like that, you put a lot of stress on the pan. Right. So this is a scientific, a scientific thing we're doing here now mm. called stress relieving. Stress relieving. Right. Well, I do that in, 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 in engineering. In, 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 in metallurgy, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is stress relieving. In metallurgy, so we're doing stress relieving. Yeah. So right now we go curry in the pan. <laughs> so you see the color of the pan change? Right? Yeah. It come on to a blue there now. Right. So basically that is it. You know? So you leave it there for like about 20 minutes. And after that, the tuna take it over. And, and do you think? Some sweet. That's all that pan, eh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make that mistake. <laughs> All right, so we come here to learn how to tune the pan. Yeah, man. Where's this, where's this gadget that's here, man? Well, actually, there's an iPad. Mm. But... It's <laughs> <laughs> bad, boy. It's bad. <laughs> but we have a tuning app on it. Mm. Uh, this tuning app is called Lino Tune. Mm. And basically, all the tuners now gravitate towards this. So we have an app that we tune in the pan with. Yes, sir. So how does all this really work, in The app? No, well, well, this, well how, how this, because I see that app and I see that pan, but well, you know, can I get connected? What happens is there's a built-in mic and stuff like that, so when you play the pan, you mm. pick up the song here. Okay. And you tune it up. So how, when is it tuning a pan? Because yeah. I see here with a hammer and a stick. Right, so after the burning, we put it here and we start putting sound on it. Now we raise from behind. All right. We have a little gadget here. We use to raise the notes. Bam, so you, you raise your note to get me to work with. Right. Then you start listening for tone. Alright, so with this app now, you will set it to the desired note you want. 
is a D or a G. We're using the G here now. So you start to play here. Mm -hmm. And you would, you would um, do the correcting with your hammer. And listening it just stick. Notes are arranged in fourths and fifths. Now in this direction, we get fourths. If you listen to that, that is the interval of a fourth. And when you come in this direction again, the interval of a fifth. Now this particular pattern mm. was mapped out by Anthony Williams. Mm. All right, this is an internationally accepted circle of fourths and fifths. And Anthony Williams just stumbled on that and put it on the pan, you know. Mm. And that's what makes the pan so unique. Mm -hmm. Alright? I didn't tune these notes in the center yet. Oh, there's a difference between. Alright, so I'll, I'll try this note. There's a C. So you know the difference between a tune note and a on tune. On tune. Get that one again? Right, and then one that tune. Right. So you're gonna put this have song on it, right? But it's not the pitch of the note that you want. Mm -hmm. You see. So you're gonna. It's, it's sharper and we're going to flatten it. You hear it now? And? Yes, so <laughs> We learned everything in terms of the making of the pan. Now it is time to learn how to play the pan. Let's go with something easy. Mary had a little lamb. Okay, all right. All right. All right. So you start right. there. You go, all right. And you're coming down. Bang. All right, let me make sure you have that. Hey. All right, let me make sure you have that. Hey. I'm bad, I'm bad. You ain't I'm done, bad. Room. Right, room. We ain't done. We ain't oh, done. Oh, yeah. They have more. They have more. <laughs> and then you go back. Alright, now you sound for me to pack it. Hey. Hey. Booyaka! Nice, I'm boss. Yes, I'm boss. Yes, I'm boss. We saw one individual steel band made, but they all come together in a steel band. We are here with the Skiffle Steel Orchestra, and we're ready to jam. Skiffle, are you ready to jam? Yeah! One, two, one, two, three, four!
les scaffolds de que je m'examine Guys, for the next episode, you don't want to miss it. <laughs>